action showing, uh, you know, coal plants, et cetera, that the state is paying attention, that the IEPA is paying attention, and that they won't get away with uh, the same old business. The Attorney General's office is suing a publicly owned utility company in Sangamon County. The lawsuit centers on a massive coal fly ash release from two years ago. Good evening and thank you for being here for your local news at 530. I'm Amanda Brennan. This is all centering around Springfield's City Water Power and Light Group. The coal ash was unintentionally released in a 2021 Re release there. It caused a massive cloud to sit over a chunk of the city and people are still talking about it. WCI3's Capitol Bureau Chief Cole Hankey has more. Attorney General Kwame Raul is opening up a lawsuit against Springfield's publicly owned utility company, City Water, Light and Power, for a coal ash release from 2021. Raul said in a statement, all Illinois residents have a right to clean air and I am committed to enforcing the environmental laws and regulations that protect that right. Raul says workers at the Dahlman Power Station were forced to release the ash after improperly operating equipment in the facility. In the time after the release, environmentalists voiced their concerns about the health risks of the debris. Now, two years later, they're happy to see the state finally taking action. I think it's a great step in the right direction, showing, uh, you know, coal plants, et cetera, that the state is paying attention, that the IEPA is paying attention, and that they won't get away with uh, the same old business. Uh, Raul's office is also requiring CWLP to work with the Illinois EPA to provide a thorough report to the court within 30 days of this order officially being submitted. A spokesperson for CWLP says the utility would fully cooperate. And in a statement, that spokesperson said, quote, Corrective action was taken and disciplinary measures were issued for procedures not being followed with regard to the valve operation on the silo. We are very thankful no injuries occurred with this incident. While no one was injured during or in the immediate aftermath of the release, Nick Dodson with the Illinois Sierra Club took issue with the idea that no one was hurt, considering the potential long-term health effects. And them saying that there were no actual injuries from this is, I think, extremely disingenuous and dangerous uh, and not actually valid to community health standards. Reporting in Springfield, I'm Cole Hankey.